podcast and you know it's our chocolate challenge here so uh, of course we want to promote public radio and uh, see if we can get some listeners to pledge their support um are you all so you are public radio listeners yourself tell us about your uh, familiarity with public radio well we love public radio especially west virginia public radio and uh, we are sustaining members and uh, i have it on all day long when i'm not practicing or listening to some other music <laughs> yeah that's great well that's great to hear um and of course uh if you're listening out there one of our faithful classical listeners feel free to call in with a pledge of support 1-800-RADIO-87 1-800-723-4687 or you can donate online at wvpublic.org and so let's get into some music here first i want to know i mean you're, you're going to be playing arrangements of classical music but also originals um how would you categorize your music it's a tough question i know it is hard to categorize it um i think there's um, the element of rhythm kind of defines it. So n there's not going to be too much swinging in this music. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it, there's still elements of improvisation in, in our arrangements. Um, but basically, there's a kind of a strict form that we're sticking to. So it's, Great. it's jazz, but it's, it's just a kind of a genre of jazz that's not swinging. Great. Yeah. Well, so I know it has like... Uh, there's a lot of classical influence, there's jazz influence, there's some, you know, a little bit of pop. So it's an interesting, really eclectic sort of style going on here um, for this piano and bass duo. So let's go ahead and get into some music. Might as well. That's why we're here. And uh, first you have music of Leonard Bernstein. You want to set that up a little bit before you get into it? Yeah, um, this is from West Side Story and it's tonight. Okay, here we go by Leonard Bernstein and performing live in our studio, Jenny and Nathan Wilson. So take it away when y'all are ready.
great job on that guys thanks so much that was tonight by leonard bernstein and of course if you're listening on radio and are interested in the visual aspect you can go to our website wvpublic.org and check out the live stream there it's like i'm watching the jim justice press conference right now <laughs> just kidding this is way more entertaining um this is now uh the wilson duo here we have jenny and nathan wilson and they're from morgantown west virginia and so that was tonight by leonard bernstein and you all changed it up a bit that's really cool i mean tell us just a little bit about that well it's an arrangement um you know be impossible to to make that um sound like an orchestral thing mm -hmm. you know with this piano and bass so um i like to sit at the piano and, and work these types of things out yeah right yeah and it's, it's really cool and so y are you notating it on a software notation program or how do you I know I still write everything out by hand there you go okay um, old school yeah <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I like that that's uh you know a lot of composers do it that way so yeah. um that's cool to see if it ain't if it ain't broken don't fix it <laughs> so all right next selection what do you have for us okay um the next selection is uh there are two Romanian folk dances by Bela Bartok and I, I was reading about them this morning, and um, they were originally uh, Romanian folk songs that were played on a fiddle or a shepherd's flute. And so the first one is called Pelak, which means I in the spot. So these are dances, so this must have been a dance that people did just in one place. Mm -hmm. And then the next one, which is going to be sort of a more of a jazz arrangement, um, is called the scarf dance. Okay. And so this is a m it has more movement in okay. it. Okay. And um, for people who know these, you're going to see that the second one um, I changed the meter from two four to three four. Oh, interesting. So I hope, nice. You know, Bela doesn't. A little artistic mind. choice. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think he will. I mean, you know, I tried to email him the other day, he didn't respond. So I yeah. just think he's out of touch a little bit. So the email in Transylvania is not so. Good. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right, well, let's, th let's take a listen to these two Romanian folk dances by Bela Bartok. Again, the Wilson duo here performing live for us in our studios. And we're about to hear them take it away here.
wonderful music there. That was from Bartok's Two Romanian Folk Dances. And we heard, you know, an interesting jazz arrangement there by the Wilson duo live in our studio. And you wouldn't think that as a jazz piece of music, but it certainly turns out to be one there. Um, and so, you know, I, I'm interested, you know, why did you pick that song of all, you know, pieces to, to turn into something jazzy? I don't really know. I was trying to learn them uh, just, you know, straight ahead. And um, one of the things that I do when I learn a piece of classical music is I explore what the harmony is. And, you know, I'm interested in knowing what the chords are. And so that one just seemed to to have some nice chords that would, would work. Yeah, and the um, melody works really jazzy. well, too. Yeah, and I don't know why it just, the 3-4 just felt natural. <laughs> it feels um, right. It feels like, a, almost like Take 5. I mean, no, it's in 3, but it almost feels like some Dave Brubeck or something yeah. going on there. Really cool stuff. And we're getting a good response on our live stream. People, Linda says the music is beautiful. Laura says, I absolutely love your music. And Lelena says, so lovely. Um, Amy says, you sound and look beautiful. So you are, <laughs> you are doing great. Keep it up. Um, really enjoying this so far. Um, and Eddie's doing well back there filming the cameras. I got to brag on Eddie a little bit. Um, doing great. Um, so uh, what's next for us? Got a little far, eh? Yes. Um, this one is one that... Um, I heard when I was listening to an album by Hubert Laws that came out, it must have come out in the, maybe the early 70s, but um, it was called The Rite of Spring, and it was a collection, I think, of mostly classical pieces that he and his, you know, the people that he was working with, his producers, um, jazzified them, and um, I just loved his version of this and uh, I think it was a CTI uh, records and um, it's just a beautiful melody and we don't yeah. really do too much with this we just just play it it's really catchy I actually heard um, Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull fame uh, do an arrangement of this with or with an orchestra oh. out in Wolf Trap in Virginia and it was really awesome so I'm really excited to hear this it's, it's a great melody that can be used in a lot of different ways so uh, go ahead and take it away. Pavon by Gabrielle Faré here.
That just works so well with piano and bass, doesn't it? Just absolutely uh, beautiful there. Such a great melody. <laughs> I'll be humming that for the rest of the day, almost certainly. I can't, I can't get it out of my head. Whenever I hear it, I have to go back on YouTube and listen to it again. Um, so, you know, that was Pavon by Gabrielle Farre. And we had the Wilson duo live in our studios. And this is the kind of programming you get with your pledge of support to West Virginia Public Broadcast. And we got to mention that it's our chocolate challenge here. So feel free to call in with a pledge of support. Support the Wilson duo here, Jenny and Nathan Wilson, uh, by calling 1-800-RADIO-87, 1-800-723-4687, or possibly you're watching online, and you can donate at wvpublic.org. And you all are, you know... Uh, fans of public broadcasting yourself so you know you have I mean, how can you get you know listeners to the phone you're 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 uh, sustaining members yourself yes we we urge you to call 1-800 radio 87 oh she's doing the number she's like a pro <laughs> here there we go and um you know the chocolate is going to be so good and you can give it uh for valentine's day and um yeah, we love public radio. That's, yeah. that's all we listen to. Right, yeah. Um, and it's $10 a month. Sustaining membership gets you a box of Hall's chocolate. I believe you can get that delivered anywhere in the continental United States uh, before Valentine's Day. So uh, if you're... Oh, not before Valentine's Day. I'm uh, Our programming director is not saying... Uh, Give me the, the wag here. Um, but you still will be able to get a box of all chocolate and it's delivered anywhere within the continental United States. So that is something to make sure, um, you know, maybe you're looking for some chocolate in your life this February. So call 1-800-RADIO-87, 1-800-723-4687, or go to wbpublic.org. Jenny, what's up next? Okay, the next piece is uh, one of my originals and it's called six bells and um it's kind of a long story um but it's it's kind of a uh, an ave maria kind of piece okay. and um if you listen you're gonna hear three, four five six one two three four five six those are the six bells ah cool and um I I was writing this kind of in response to uh, learning that a friend of mine's son had died, and uh, we were going to play for the funeral service. So I wanted to write her a piece of music, and this this came you know this just kind of came to me. Yeah. And then I looked up six bells, and it turns out that uh, when when somebody dies at sea, uh, they ring six bells. Wow. So. Yeah, uh, that must have been some sort of intuitive right thing. Yeah, um, that's amazing. And this is sort of like uh, supposed to represent water, uh, like shimmering, shimmering water. Beautiful visual there. What's that chord there? I mean, that's uh, it's it's an A flat major nine. Yeah, with a, a sharp eleven. Yeah, that's I'm hearing that Lydian, yes. little Lydian sharp eleven there. Mm -hmm. That makes it just just a little extra, you know. Um, beauty in there Floaty. yeah mm -hmm. um, yeah I get, yeah it makes it just slightly more ambiguous mm -hmm. with that sharp 11 wonderful well let's take a listen to six bells and this is an original by Jenny Wilson and performed live here in our studios by the Wilson duo <laughs>
Music by Jenny Wilson herself here. That was Six Bells. Thank you so much for that. And that was performed live here in our studio by the Wilson Duo. And this is our inaugural visual live stream. So you're getting a real treat here for our chocolate challenge. And we got some good response on Six Bells. Amy says Six Bells is gorgeous. Betsy says so beautiful. Uh, Susan says yes exclamation mark and I agree yes <laughs> I know that Amy and that Betsy <laughs> oh, okay that's good good Susan good, good. too <laughs> okay okay well we got some uh, those are my, my staunch fans there <laughs> okay okay good well we got some um, some fans on here and uh, Susie says lovely with the falling snow out the window uh, Andy says my wife Mary and I are country roading this afternoon enjoying the music so um that's really great we got some great fan support out there and so what do we have now well, actually well, before we go on i want to ask i mean that piece it seems uh reminds me of the prelude in c by bach i mean did that have any inspiration in that well it just has that same motive to it's it. yeah it's um it's like that mm -hmm. yeah and and i actually that's one of my piano pieces that i do play so it's not you know, everything that you listen to or that you play kind of creeps into your in your subconscious you know, into your your work somehow. yeah right right mm -hmm. yeah i agree yeah. so that's cool um again that was six bells by jenny wilson performed to you by the wilson duo next you have another original yes this one uh is called unity and you know the the titles actually come after i write the music so um yeah me too i a lot can't of really yeah <laughs> it's <kinda laughs> weird can't really say why i call it that but it has sort of a anthemic feel to it great well let's take a listen to unity by jenny wilson and wilson duo here performing live jenny and nathan wilson take it away
wonderful music there. That was Unity by Jenny Wilson herself here performing live in the studio. She playing piano, Nathan Wilson on the bass. Thank you so much for that tune. Jenny, I got to ask, so when you write a piece of music, are you writing both keyboard and uh, the bass parts or is Nate coming up with this uh, his part or how does that work? He usually comes up with his own part cool. um, or I'll say... I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> Play something else. <laughs> <laughs> a true husband and wife collaboration. Yes, <laughs> that's kind of how it works. Great. And, um, you know, it's interesting because, you know, sometimes Nate will be playing, you know, just the bass part, and sometimes he'll just play the melody, you know, down an octave or something like that along with it, which is really cool on the, the pit's bass. That's one of the things that I love about piano and bass is the um, uh, unison lines that we yeah. play together. Yeah, it's really cool yeah. to hear him come jump up in the... Uh, in the range there and then mm -hmm. play with you and harmonize or play in unison in unity with you, if you mm -hmm. will. Mm -hmm. um, so that was unity by Jenny Wilson. And if you are enjoying this afternoon program, feel free to call in 1-800-RADIO-87, 1-800-723-4687 for our chocolate challenge. We are looking to hear from callers out there and we're trying to get people to the phone or Perhaps you're watching our live stream online and you can uh, go to wvpublic.org and make a pledge of support. And, of course, this is our inaugural live stream for classical. Eddie Eisen back here running the cameras, doing a great job. Jenny and Nathan Wilson doing uh, the performing here. Next up, what do we have? Well, the next tune is by Lyle Mays, who is, you know, one of my, my favorite piano players. Um, and he recently passed away, and I was extremely sad to hear that. Um, and this is just a short piece uh, from his album, oh, solo album. And I think the album was called close to home but I'm not sure I think it might have been just called Lyle Mays actually mm -hmm. and the piece is called close to home and on the record I, I have the record oh <laughs> the vinyl okay <laughs> yeah. all right um of that age old school I, no, I got some vinyls too. Um, it said close to home parentheses Mars so I don't know if that means he thought that is he a Martian Mars was home <laughs> Um, but I'm kind of guessing that he may have used um, the the Holst uh, planet suite. Gotcha. Um, and uh, so this is close to home. Here we go by Lyle Mays, performed here by the Wilson duo, right here in our studios.
beautiful music there that was close to home by lyle mays performed by jenny and nathan wilson the wilson duo here in our studio our inaugural live stream visual live stream here for our call for performers and don't forget you can always submit your performance still to wvpublic.org there's a link you can find on the home page it's on the right hand side if you scroll down a bit and it says perform live on wvpb radio click the link and you can fill out the form and submit your live performance um, or send us a link to a live performance and then we can get you on the show hopefully and you can be like the wilson duo here and have a great performance and we're getting some great comments here still <laughs> linda says beautiful laurel says so wonderfully meditative and uh, linda says the music is excellent and cousin robert says he's watching from hurricane so <laughs> big ups to cousin robert um so what do we have next okay the next piece is one of mine and this is called the world <clears throat> excuse me the world is turning gold and that's actually the title of uh one of our C cds so uh we have i think four uh, CD recordings available. Yeah, where can they find? Where can our listeners find that if they um, want? It? If they go to JennyAndNathan.com, and that's Jenny with a Y, mm -hmm. uh, they can find them there. Okay, great. So, we'll check that out. JennyAndNathan.com. Yeah. You can find their CDs if you're interested. Um, so let's uh, take it away here. This is an original by Jenny Wilson. It's called "The World Is Turning Gold." So fire when ready. Great tune there by Jenny Wilson. That's The World is Turning Gold. And um, what sort of inspiration came into that piece? Uh, if you want to give us a brief, just a little tidbit about that. I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens, uh, I, you know? You know, I think um, 
it's a little goss it's got a little bit of a gospel tinge yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Strong melody there. Yeah. Someone someone just texted me that it sounds like a riff from Africa by Toto. <laughs> I, I love that tune. I, I love I love Africa by Toto. Yeah, that's a great song. Yeah. yeah. Um that was The World is Turning Gold, Jenny Wilson. And um so next up we have a piece by Nathan Wilson, is that right? Yes. Um this is a beautiful tune that he wrote for me. And I think it was me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with it. We'll go with it. <laughs> okay. this, this is also on uh, CD, The World is Turning Gold. Great. So this is called You and Me, and this is by Nathan Wilson, who's on bass here with Jenny Wilson on the keys live performing here. Thank you. 
music by Nathan Wilson there performing live for us called You and Me and performed here in our studios live by Jenny and Nathan Wilson of the Wilson Duo. And of course, if you're listening right now, call in with that pledge of support. 1-800-RADIO-87. Help protect and sustain live performances like this because there's really just nowhere else to get live music right now um, besides, you know, broadcast music. So call 1-800-RADIO-87 or perhaps you're watching online. You can go to wvpublic.org, click the donate button, and you can have your pledge of support in just a few minutes there. And we're about reached the end of our show. We only have about two and a half minutes left. Um, so I think that's about it for the music selections. But I uh, would love to say thank you to you guys. Um, it's been great having you on. Um, is there anything else you want to say before we take off here? Well, please support West Virginia Public Radio. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I agree with that. Um, I really wanted to hear this Prince arranger. Perhaps we you could. We could play it and i'll do the ids over it sure okay. <laughs> so what i'm gonna want to say before we start is that um jenny and nathan wilson here of the wilson duo they're from morgantown uh check them out at jenny and nathan.com um thank you guys so much for coming on here and we're going to listen to an arrangement of diamonds and pearls by prince so go ahead and then i'll do some ids here Stay tuned for 1A. That's coming up next here on WVPB Charleston, WVBY Beckley, WVBL Bluefield, WVPW Buckhannon, WVWV Huntington, WVP Martinsburg, WVKM Mate One, WVPM Morgantown, WVPG Parkersburg, WVDS Petersburg, WVWS Webster Springs, WVMP Wheeling. And we're online at wvpublic.org, where you can make your pledge of support to West Virginia Public Broadcasting. Or you can call 1-800-RADIO-87. We would love to hear from our faithful classical listeners and be able to read your name off with the list of those who have donated. One more time, that's 1-800-723-4687. Help contribute to our chocolate challenge and help us meet our goals here. Or again... Go to wvpublic.org. If you miss part of this live stream, you can always check it out. We uh, archive our live streams. You can check it out on our Facebook page or on YouTube as well or our website, wvpublic.org. Many thanks again to Jenny and Nathan Wilson of the Wilson Duo from Morgantown, West Virginia. 1A is next. Stay tuned. Party has changed a lot over the last 200 years. Now it's being pulled in two directions yet again. Could it finally break in half? From WAMU and NPR in Washington, this is 1A.